Now, new this noon, parents in Wellesley are calling for more action from the school district after a student was beaten over the summer. The victim's mother says it was a brutal, premeditated attack. And as WBZ's Anna Myler tells us, that mother believes the classmates involved should face greater consequences. Parents in Wellesley rallied around high school sophomore Sean Aid this morning in a show of support for the teen who was attacked in July. He was lured into the woods and six children were there and he was, um, he was beaten and um, urinated on. Sean's mother, Allison Aid, says the community came together today because one of the students involved is scheduled to return from suspension. We wanted them to suspend for the ultimate amount of time, which would have been 90 days, because this is a severe crime. 10 to less than 30 days is not enough. The police chief was at the protest, but would not comment on specifics of the case because it involved juveniles. So it was reported to us, and the police investigated. We filed appropriate charges. Um, the, the suspects were brought to court. Uh, the court handled it. The superintendent and high school principal sent an email to parents last night, writing in part, we work as a team to provide support to victims after an incident and to create safety plans to help ensure that any bullying is not repeated. Young people make mistakes. They should be allowed to learn from those mistakes. To that end, we strive to have a balance between appropriate consequences and a path forward to recover. Parents say this is the first communication from the district three months after the incident occurred. This is typical of the town. They sweep this kind of stuff under the rug. And yes, this should have been acknowledged well before last night. I really want to see more communication. I want to see more support for people who are bullied. Um, I want to see us really follow that zero tolerance policy that we say we have. Sean's mother says her son is doing better because of all the support from the community, and she hopes the rally here today will help empower other students who are being bullied to speak up. Reporting in Wellesley, Anna Myler, WBZ News.